Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. I'm telling you, this was an emotionally draining episode for me today. I shed a tear. My eyes are probably still a little red. I just finished watching the episode. And I tell you, I know exactly why Nicholas Chavez, the actor that plays Spencer, got his award. Oh, my goodness. What a believable performance. But anyway, let's get to how it happened. Let, let's get to the meat and potatoes. I'll get to the other stuff after this. Okay, so Diane calls Spencer to the stand, right? And she leads him through pretty much where he saw Trina or where Trina saw him, how he was with her, because he said he was with her at the time the video was released. So Diane says, listen, was she visiting you at Spring Ridge? And he said, no. And he says he kind of had a day pass. <laughs> a day pass from minimum security prison, okay. And so she had him explain how that happened. And he said, I'm not proud of this, but someone was bribed to look the other way while I, you know, left for a, a, a little while. And he says, I had every intentions on going back and I did go back. So Diane, which I love, she carefully took him to why he did that. And Nicholas is sitting there. Like, wait, you did what? <laughs> you know, Nicholas is sitting there and he mentioned, he started to tell why it was so important for him to be there that day and, and put flowers. He said it was the anniversary of his mother's death. And for years he would put flowers there. When he was away in boarding school, he could not do it. But I'm surprised he didn't say, but he always made sure that flowers were delivered to his mother's grave because he did the whole every every anniversary. So as he's talking, he says, and Trina Robinson saw him. And as he is speaking, Trina tear starting to run down her face because for one, she knew it was true. For two, she knew what this could mean for him. Even though she, I don't know if she would have got on the stage, she would have outed him still. But she knew the sacrifice or not sacrifice, the risk he was taking for telling that particular truth. But when Spencer started explaining, you know, why it was so important that he do this and Diane says, you do understand that this could put you, you know, your freedom in jeopardy. And he said, yes. And his voice was trembling. And he said, but there comes a time when you have to do the right thing. And he's trembling. Oh my goodness. He did such a good job with that scene because his father never could do the right thing. Nicholas still hasn't learned that. And Spencer was never raised. You know, you gotta know the history of Spencer Cassidyne. And Spencer Cassidyne was never raised with the consequences of any of his actions, never. He never has had to do the right thing. His messes were always cleaned up and looked over. So for him to have to come out and actually do something for someone else and understand without his grandmother telling him to understand within himself, sometimes there, there comes a time when you have to do the right thing. Oh, I tell you that meant so much to me because to me that showed growth. My eyes are a little watery right now. Just just the emotion of it, okay? But that showed growth in his, in his character. I'm beginning to become a Spencer Cassidyne fan now. I, uh, 
That was really good. Excellent. Kudos to the writers. Kudos to the uh, uh, Nicholas Chavez. Excellent job. So believable. And to me, it just meant so. It was pivotal to that character. Whew. But anyway, um, let me gather myself here. It didn't, the district, the uh, uh, ADA, what she then did was um, send a pre-scheduled text because what she's saying is just because Spencer was with Trina at the time the sec text was sent, Trina could have sent a pre-scheduled text to you know go at, go off at that time, right? So Spencer gets the and she she just goes back to and she says and by the way, the email is not the issue. The the recording of the the revenge porn um, or or the releasing was not the issue. Which honestly, no, the releasing was the issue. Because how, how could everybody see it unless you release it? So that really was an issue, the issue, uh, as well as the recording. Um, but she would cross-examine Spencer and she, you know, got it right back to who was in the cabin at the time the recording was made. So Spencer gets down from the, the, the stand and he's slowly walking away and he kind of looks at Trina. And Trina looks at him, you know, she, she'd been crying too. And he, he's like, I, you know, he, he tried, you know, he, he tried. So um, they took, the, the judge tells the attorneys, both of you come, you know, I, I want to speak to both of you. And Jocelyn walks over to Spencer and says, well, you have it in you to do the right thing after all. She was like, finally, you know, finally, this is this is the friend she knows, you know. But that that scene was so good today. I, I had to lead with the best today because everything else was good. Because believe it or not, Sasha is unraveling. She's spiraling and spiraling so much that she is resisting therapy, which that's telling you her addiction is, has a bigger hold on her. The drugs may be out of her system, but like Brando said, the root cause of her using needs to be addressed. The root cause of her losing her baby, she doesn't want to address it. She doesn't want to talk to a therapist about it. She doesn't want to feel any of it. So, I mean, I, I see Sasha heading for an overdose. I really do. And now Brando sees she is just snapping, say, you don't trust me. You don't trust me. Well, truth be told, he's telling no. No, I don't. Because trusting you was what allowed you to be using right under my nose. Trusting you did that. Okay, the eyes are wide open. You need help, you need counseling, and you're gonna have to get it, period. Which he was trying in no uncertain terms to, to, to get that through her head, you know? And, cause I think he did say he didn't trust her and she blew up, you know, with that. But Sasha is, is on a huge uh, spiral down. I'm surprised we're not seeing Gladys at all. I mean, where's Gladys when you need her? Um, and then, of course, Michael and Dex meet in the stairwell, and Brando sees them on the way up. And then Michael pretends like, oh, why are you following me? What are you, you know, so a staged fight um, or a staged hostility. Brando's going to be the one to see through that. He's going to see through it big time. Um, so as a matter of fact, Brando's going to see through it. and. Let's see. Yeah, I think it'll be Brando first because Sonny's not going to see it. Michael told Dex how to get to Sonny. You know, take the place of the son he's lost. That's what's that's what'll get to Sonny, which was I'm thinking, man, that's emotionally. Wow, Michael. Goodness gracious, I didn't know you had that in you, buddy. Um, so <laughs> gee. Uh so then we had it was really, really good between Ava. And um, Ava and Esme, 
Ava at one point grabbed her, like you're not going nowhere. We're going to talk. But Esme, she kind of read Ava the, the riot act and, you know, went all into Ava's history. And Ava's looking like, wait a minute. See, Esme kind of showed her hand a little bit too much because like Ava said, you, what you're speaking about, you don't know these people. Who's given you this information? Who's, who's fed you this history that you know nothing about? And she goes, I've done my research. Well, you know what? It's not enough research Esme could have done to know that information. She almost tipped her hand. And they was like, no, no, there's more to this than it seems. And Esme is starting to realize, okay, I got to get out of here. Uh, I don't need her starting to really pry and figure out what is actually going on here. Um, and Ava tells her, you're going to go to that courtroom. And this is like at the very end, you're going to go to that courtroom and you're going to get Trina exonerated. And Esme's like, Psh, you haven't offered me nothing remotely close to why I would do that. You know, what kind of protection am I going to get? You know, and Ava leans into her and she lets her know, oh, Oh, you thought that was a request? Wasn't a request? I finally saw the Ava Jerome I hadn't seen in years. She whispered to her, she goes, if you don't, they, nobody's going to even find you. I don't know if she said your body, because I was still all shaken up emotional about Spencer. But she said, nobody is going to even find you. And Esme's looking at her because I'm, Ava could have easily said, see, see, baby girl, you didn't do enough research on me at all. See, you need to do the research and see what I'm truly capable of. Mm -hmm. That's enough to scare you, right? Yeah. So that was really good to where they left that. I kind of think that's, I, I'm not even going to get in, well, yeah, Willow, of course, lied to Michael. She did. He asked, why was, why was TJ drawing blood from her, you know, and she goes, oh, just a friend helping a friend out. See, I knew it. I knew Willow was going to lie. She always does. She doesn't tell the truth when it was unnecessary. This is unnecessary for her not to let Michael know. There's no good reason for it. None whatsoever. So I don't want to spend and waste time. I'm going to go directly to comment corner from yesterday's episode because I know a lot of you are like me. Today was an emotional episode and you all want to comment on it and I want to read your comments. Um, so I'm going to kind of make this video a little bit shorter. Let's dive right into some comments from yesterday. Darla says, um, great revelation about Jordan seeing Trina at the cemetery. Yeah, but guess what? It didn't even come up. Um, and M, M. Sim says, um, well, thank you so much. She says she likes watching my daily recap because I know my history. I do know, but I forget, which is why I love the fact to be able to come and put some questions out to you fans so that you could type in the comments and refresh my memory on some things as well. So I really, really like that. And she said, yeah, it is karma coming back to haunt Ava where you know she had no problem sleeping with Morgan and falling in love with Morgan, had Morgan twisted around her finger. Um, and then she forgot about Jordan C and Trina in the cemetery. Um, also where she was at, there was a news break. The general hospital was preempted. Yeah, you have to catch that on, uh, either abc.com uh, or Hulu shows General Hospital. And now I have a comment from Lorraine. Lorraine says, now that Ava knows the truth, she can get rid of Nicholas and go back to the mob life. Look, we're looking for another mob boss woman for some reason, aren't we? You know, um, and she would like to see her over Selena take over Port Charles. Yeah, but you know what? We don't want Sonny at war with his baby mama. We don't want that. 
unfortunately. Yeah, no, we sure don't. And um, uh, Charlotte said that, or Charlotte, I, I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. Charlotte, I think it is. She said, uh, no, Sasha did not take a pill uh, the night she hit Harmony. And then this chemo beauty says this episode was full of daytime drama. Um, and she said that Nicholas finally telling the truth about Esme was epic, but it was sounded so stupid with him putting all the blame on his infidelity on an 18 year old girl. It says now he has to deal with the backlash of Ava. Yes, he does. And I can't wait. Um, Ava, Spencer, and Laura, because ooh, Spencer can Spencer can disown father really fast, can't he? Um, she says, uh, she feels something still shady going on with those divorce papers. Um, and she doesn't care about Michael and Willow and the expecting baby me either. You know, they're like, okay, we're gonna, we know Willow's gonna be sick. Nina's gonna need to save her. The, the, we don't need another baby in Port Charles. So, you know, I don't know, but you know, they're a young, young couple in love, you know, families do grow. So we shall see if, if this, I hope this baby survives because Willow's already lost one child. You know, she doesn't need to lose, lose another child. Um, it says, uh, Trina better remember how awful, yeah, he did. Before the text, the sec, sex tape was taped before all of that Trina uh, Spencer was treating Trina kind of bad you know to prove to Esme that he loved her and he was on her side he was snubbing her up a bit even though he was the one wrong lying to her about who he was when she they first met and then Mary says that Dante and Lulu are legally divorced I guess I may, I may have missed that you know um, and then she's waiting for today's episode uh, where Spencer tells the truth. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to uh, hear from all of these phenomenal GH fans like me with their recap for today. And uh, Sandy says that Sasha had been taking pills earlier and was trying to take more when she dropped them. That is true. I kind of thought I remembered her taking a pill earlier. Um, she does need help ASAP. And she says, um, the way Ava talked, Esme talked to Ava was definitely too much. Ava needs to knock her head off. Well, Ava is going to really get her revenge, I kind of think. She knows something's up. And you know what? When she says, what is that? Because Sasha grabbed, I mean, not Sasha, Esme grabbed that paper out of her suitcase. or just try Because Ava says, what is this? And she picks it up and Esme grabs it. None of your business. That would have been clue number one. Oh, it's going down because I'm getting that paper out of your hand just because you were protesting too much. I'm going to see what it is. That's exactly what should have happened. Ava just let that go. I didn't, I did not like that. And then uh, Sandy says, spineless Nicholas <laughs> blames Esme for, you know, him being stupid. Um, and then of course she said, yeah, karma did kind of knock on Ava's door because of the Morgan situation. Um, and she's glad uh, Spencer's eyes are opened uh, towards Esme. Well, they've been open for a minute. He's been actually trying to catch her. And then uh, Devlin says she believed that Sasha did take a pill earlier that day when Harmony died. She believed she took the pill before she got in the car with Gladys. I don't think she took it before she got in the car with Gladys because after she picked them up, from the ground, I think Sasha ran into the bathroom because she ran back to the table and said, that reporter is harassing her, harassing her. And Gladys jumps up to go after the reporter. Sasha goes into the bathroom. I think she dumped those pills down the toilet and she flushed them. Um, and, and thank you, Devlin, because she said she definitely thanks me for the reviews that, that we do here for General Hospital. And I'm saying it right now that we do. I love these comments because it's the comments that gives me something to talk about. So I'm gonna end this video right now so you all can tell me what you thought about today. Today was a good General Hospital daytime 
uh, TV show day. I am happy to be doing the recap today. So I want to hear from each and every one of you.